Start recording. Say hi, everyone. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. I'll, I'll cut the first part out. Well, hopefully. Maybe not. We'll see. Okay. Um, all right. So the first thing we're going to review is mass versus weight. Okay. Um, so here's a question for you. Let's say I have a box because that's the easiest thing to draw. Oh, no. Let me put this weird drawing tool on. Um, I think plane is what we want. Yes, plane is what we want. And we're just going to restart this whole thing right here. We would say. Okay, so let's say that I have a box. And it's just like a moving box, like a cardboard box. And it's got, what does the box have inside of it? Pie. What? Pie, you said? Five. Has five what? Bananas. Five pies. Let's, let's say that it has uh, pies in it, okay? Just because pies are easy to draw too. So it's got pies. Let's say it has three pies because I can fit three pies. I got two on the side. Sure, you can two on the side. <laughs> Even though those pies are going to have some problems. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so there's our box. Um, now, here's, here's a question for you. That box has a certain amount of force that's pulling it down to the earth, right? Um, and it might be kind of heavy to pick up. It might be not that heavy to pick up. Um, and it's made of a certain amount of matter. So this box contains matter. Man, this would be so much easier if I could do it on an iPad, but it's fine. I'm not bitter. It's fine now. Yeah. Okay, so this box has a certain amount of matter. Um, and who remembers what matter is? Yeah, so I heard matter is everything. So matter is, is just, it's any substance, anything that we can touch pretty much. Well, yeah, anything that we can touch. That's an O. Yeah. Touch. Okay, so... Thank you. It would be so much easier if I could use my iPad. That's fine. Um, so this box has a certain amount of matter. It has a certain amount of stuff. Atoms, uh, molecules, electrons, protons, all the stuff that makes up matter. There's a certain amount in this box. Now here's my question. If I have this box and I take it from Wilder to Boise, does the amount of matter change? No. 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 How about if I take the box to China, does the amount of matter change? No. No. Unless I'm like ripping off a part of the box or taking out one of the pies. If I, unless I eat a pie, the amount of matter doesn't change. Yes, Mason? Don't they have different like, qualities, like different things? So things might be different in China, but the amount of matter in the box does not change. That always stays the same. So it's like 10 pounds and you go to China and it's like 10 pounds? Well, we measure matter in kilograms instead of pounds in, with science usually. Uh. So if the box weighs 10 kilograms, or has, excuse me, has a mass of 10 kilograms, that's not going to change depending on where I go. It's always going to be the same, okay? So this is called mass. It's the amount of matter, and it never changes. So here's another question that's maybe a little trickier, okay? Um, if I take this box with my pies, and I put it on a spaceship, and I go up to the moon, does the mass change? Yes. Okay, we have some yeses? No. No? Okay. Here's, here's the crucial question with mass. Did I take anything out of the box? No. No. So the amount of matter does not change. Even on the moon, it's, it's the same amount of matter. But here's, here's the thing. Does it, is it as hard to lift up on the moon? No. No. That is the, that's, the, that's the thing. So mass is the amount of matter. Weight is something totally different. Okay? Weight... Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard, everyone. So weight is the amount of force, okay, that gravity pulls down on an object. Force. My goodness. That's rough. Okay. So um, does the weight change on the moon? Yes. Yes. Yes, it does. 
So mass hardly ever changes. I'm just going to write never changes. Never. Oh, goodness. Maybe there's a way I can like type on this program or something. Never changes. Because it never changes unless you take off part of the object in question, right? But weight does change. It changes based on gravity. Okay. So we have our box. It's 10 kilograms. Um, now remember, weight is a measure of force. And the units that we use for force in science are called newtons. Okay, So it's spelled like this. N-E-W-T-O-N-S. Okay, newtons. Um, now, who remembers the formula for how we find weight? Yeah, that's that's volume, not quite the same. Remember, we calculated the weight of the different planets because planets are usually where the gravity changes. Anyone remember? So we always start with what we're trying to find. So weight equals mass times what? Times gravity. Okay. Um, and the gravity changes on each planet. The mass, if you measure different masses or different objects, the mass might change, but the mass never changes for that same object. Does that make sense? So um, let's find the weight of this mass, this 10 kilogram mass on Earth. First, someone look up the gravity of Earth for me. And the easiest way to look up gravity is just to Google it or Ecosia it if you want to. So gravity of Earth. equals um, it should be a number Nine point six. That sounds a little bit. Nine point eight. There you go. So it's nine point eight, and the units are meters per second squared. But that's a little advanced. We're not going to explain what meters per second squared means. So just think of the gravity of Earth as nine point eight. So if it's if it's the mass, which is ten times the gravity of Earth, what is the weight of this object on Earth? Okay, all you're doing is multiplying the mass, which is this times the gravity of Earth, which is this. So who can do that for me? No, you're multiplying. Um, Masai, you taking notes? 98. 98. Masai, do you need paper? No? OK. So the weight of this object on Earth is 98 newtons, OK? And even though we don't think of weight in newtons, this is how scientists think of weight. We might think of it in pounds, um, but scientists use newtons for force instead of pounds. Okay? Yes, after Isaac Newton. That's right. Okay, now let's look up the gravity of this object on what's an interesting planet? Maybe Pluto. What's the gravity of Pluto? Even though Pluto is technically a dwarf planet. Okay, 0.62. Pluto. So the gravity of Pluto is 0.62. So remember, it's just what the mass times the gravity. So someone find out what the what the weight of this box of pies is on Pluto for me. I think I heard someone say it already. 6.2, yep easy because it's 10, so you just move the decimal pretty much. So 6.2 newtons. Is that like a bird or something? You guys hear that? A loud bird outside. Or kids screaming. They're loud. 
It's, oh, the, it's the special day class. Oh yeah. Okay. Now let's do let's do the other extreme. So Pluto is a little tiny tiny dwarf planet. Let's go to the sun. So who, someone find up the gravity of the sun for me. Two hundred and seventy-four. Two hundred and seventy-four. So what is the weight of this object on the sun? It would melt, but let's, we're imagining that it wouldn't melt. Someone look up, someone discover or calculate the weight of this object on the sun. 2,740. Yep. There you go. Okay, so for your project, well, I guess to wrap things up, um, remember this is the formula, weight equals mass times gravity. And you, you're, what planet are you on in your project? No. Mars. Mars. You're on Mars in your project. Um, um, and so you have to look up the gravity of Mars. And just so that everyone knows, on your project, because you're creating your object, you can come up with whatever mass you like. Okay? So you create the mass. You can say it's one kilogram, five kilograms, whatever you want. Um, and then you have to calculate the weight on the planet that you're on, which is Mars, using this formula. Weight equals mass times gravity. Okay? Any questions? On um, mass and weight? Nope. Okay. Sweet.